Hi there, it's Sharon, and thank you so much for joining me in my studio today. I have a peek of some projects that I've created with the latest color in the Distress line, Scorched Timber. And first, we'll just take a look at the products that are new today. So there's the Distress Ink, the Distress Oxide, the reinkers for the ink and oxide, one of my favorite products, the Distress Embossing Glaze, the Distress Paint, Spray Stain, Oxide Spray, um, for this release, we're getting the watercolor pencil, which you know I love these as well, in this color. There's also the last pack of Distress Crowns, um, including Scorch Timber, and the last four uh, mini Distressing Cubes. So I'll go through also and just do a quick comparison if you want to see what this new color looks like compared to the other browns. So let's get this stuff out of the way. Taking out my other um, brown color distress inks, and I'm using the mini ones, but I wanted to take out the things that were closest to this color um, and just do a little quick comparison. So I've taken out the walnut stain, the ground espresso, and the scorched timber, and we'll just do a little swatching of those. So I'm going to just put um, some of each ink onto a piece of Distress Watercolor cardstock. So that's the Walnut Stain. I'll keep that up there. This one is the Ground Espresso. I'm just applying it direct to the paper. And then this one is the Scorch Timber. So you can see just looking at them, I feel like this one has a little bit more red in it. And this one to me looks like it's a mixture of raw umber and just a touch of sepia. And then I'm just going to spray them with water so you can see how they look when they're when they react. And when I look at these, I see a few different things in the color. Like the walnut stain to me has like a really golden undertone. Um, I'm seeing some red in the ground espresso. And the scorched timber is just a nice neutral brown. So I have a bunch of projects to show you today. Some of them feature Distress Ink, but I've used almost all of the formulas in the project, and I'll talk about each one as I go through it, and I hope you enjoy them. So the first set of cards that I have to share with you is super easy. This one is made with Distress Embossing Glaze, so all that I've done here is just take um, these Bold Botanical stamps, stamp them in um, Versamark, and then went over them with Distress Embossing Glaze. And once they were heat set, uh, what I did was just spray different colors of Distress Mica stains over them. So this one is Merry Mint, this one is Flickering Candle, this is Cocktail Party, and this one is Shiny Bobble. And once those are dry, I just took a paper towel and buffed off any excess spray, and then just added one of these uh, quote chips to each one. So a super easy way to create a card set. And I love the look um, with this color. It has like the more brown undertone than black. It just gives it a totally different look and I think it looks great on crafts. The next card is super easy. This one is just using a big botanical stamp. This is from the floral trim set. And what I did for this card is just stamp the stamp onto a piece of Distress Watercolor cardstock. Then I embossed it with gold. I did the same thing for this stamp here from the note quote set. And then I sprayed it with Distress Spray Stain. Uh, I added a border underneath. It's just another piece of gold metallic cardstock. And for the background, you can see there's a little variation um, throughout. That's just a piece of Distress Watercolor cardstock, which I also sprayed with a stain. I just wanted everything to be cohesive here. So this project is an etc. tag, and what I did for this one is just take a piece of backdrops and cover the tag with it, and then I painted some gesso over it and added some other colors. So these colors are more pastel. I've used Evergreen Bow. I used some Abandoned Coral, Squeeze Lemonade. There's tiny bits in here of Lumberjack Plaid, and then I went over, I'll try to give you a closer look, I went over and stamped with the same colors of Distress Oxide. So I did some Abandoned Coral here. This is from the Media Marks. I also did some scribbles with the Distress Watercolor Pencil. And then I've stamped here with Distress Oxide and also did some splatter with the Scorch Timber. For the letters, I just used the same colors. So this is the Evergreen Bow, also some Abandoned Coral. And then the Butterfly is Scorch Timber and this is 
you can see it, it's very shiny. This is just colored with Distress Oxide and then I covered it with Distress Embossing Glaze. For this next card, I wanted to do something really fun. This one is the Paper Cut Bird Die Cut and I took a ink pad, I just took a Distress ink pad, went over the entire die cut with it. And then what I did was adhere it directly to some acetate. I turned over the whole piece and then painted on it from the back. So the back of this is painted. And then I did some stitching all around the piece to a piece of white cardstock. And right before I stitched it up, as you can see right here, I added tons of sequins into it. So this is just a really fun card and really easy to create. The next one is another set. This one is just one of the sets that I always like to do when I play with a new color. This is using the brushstroke stamp set and each one has a different look depending on what you pair it with. So this first one, the Hello, it is some scorched timber, there's salvage patina, and this is antique linen. For the next one, this one reminds me of ice cream for some reason. This is cracked pistachio, scorched timber, and kitsch flamingo. This one is scorched timber, saltwater taffy, and seedless preserves. And this last one kind of has like a fall feel to it. This is peeled paint, scorched timber, and fossilized amber. I just really like how they came out. Um, you could do so many different color combinations. Really anything's possible with these. For this card, I took a bunch of papers and I love to do this with die cuts. I painted a bunch of papers with distressed paint. I love the matte look of it. Um, I combined a bunch of the pinks and the purples and I think they go with great with brown. It kind of reminded me of Valentine's. So I added an I love you sentiment from the Crazy Talk set. This next card uses the Layered Dots die. And what I did here was just take some Distress Oxide spray. I sprayed the first layer and then I added two other green layers. So this one is Bubbling Cauldron and the one underneath is Holly Branch. I used those same colors here for the four leaf clovers and just layered them all together and just gave it a little bit of splatter from a uh, statue foundry wax. But I really love how this color looks with green and I think I'll be making several more St. Patty's Day cards with it. And the last card that I have to share today is just an ink blend. So this is kind of a desert scene that I did. Uh, this ink blend has some scorched timber, brushed corduroy, some carved pumpkin, worn lipstick, and aged mahogany. And what I did for the cactus or the cacti here is just do Distress Spray Stain. And then I use the moon mask up here, which you can see. And then I also use the um, little stencil part that comes with the moon mask. And you can see right here, um, what I've done is just take the Distress Watercolor Pencil and gone over those lines really lightly and then took a water brush to it just to fade them out. So you can get some of that texture. And then I just splattered the whole thing with white, some of the Distress Oxide that I was using, and a little bit of Foundry Wax. I hope you enjoyed this peek at all of the projects that I created with Scorched Timber. I'll have a full post over on my blog if you wanna stop by with a picture of each project and also all the colors that I used on each one. Thanks so much for stopping by today. I'd love for you to give this video a thumbs up. And if you'd like to subscribe, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button while you're here. Thanks so much for watching.